Hello and welcome to another Gamer Tech review. Now in this review, we're going to be taking a look at a fan made by Phobia. It is the awesome E-Loop Bionic NB fan. Um, and it's very, very good looking. Um, it's extremely aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and it looks awesome. So that's three different ways to say it looks really good. Because it does. Um, also, it's won the IF Design Award 2013. It's brand new out by Phobia. So the fact that it's already won awards means that it is awesome. Um, so let's just whack it out of the box and, uh, and take a closer look at it, eh? Uh, do we get this? Here we go, righty. Now look how pretty that is. Like, that is... You, you, it, it's, sometimes it can be quite hard to get excited about, like, fans because all they kind of do is that. Whereas this fan, though, is extremely pretty. Um, it's red and black, as you can see there, um, and it's mainly been designed to be quiet, okay? Now, they've done that in a few very clever ways. Um, oh, you also get four screws in the box, so you can screw it into your case, so don't worry about that. You also get a little bit of cardboard as well, which helps keep it in position in the box. So, yeah, that's handy too. But anyway, the fan. The fan's the important bit. So here's a lovely, here's a lovely little close-up of fan for you. Look how pretty that is. Oh yeah, oh, ain't that just gorgeous? Oh, lummy. Now, as you can see, it's got all of these knobbly bobbly bits, um, which is the technical term for them. And there's also, um, on the fins themselves, they've got this odd bumpy shapey thing on it there, which is cool. And another little feature is if you can see in there that the fans, they're all one piece connected together. They kind of create this outside, this ring that goes all around the fan. So instead of the fan, just the fins going out, they are all joined together. Now there's a few different reasons why they've done this. Now, when you've got your, when you've got your fan in your case, one of the things that makes a lot of noise is called wind turbulence. So that's pretty much as it's sucking in air. If it's sucking in a lot of air, it makes that noise. So what they've done in here is they've um, they've done their research, as you can see, it's got the design award, and they found out that if you put the bobbly bits on here and the bobbly bits on the fins, it reduces noise. And that's really clever because instead of it being extremely air turbulent, all these bobbly bits, they make it non-air turbulent. Yeah. Um, they've also got on here, um, on the top as you can see, um, it's got these little rubber rubber lip mounty bits, so that's pretty much when you mount it onto your case, instead of it being hard plastic against your case, it's these rubber, these rubbery bits, which like absorb vibrations and then prevent ratting against the case with the fan, which again is really, really clever and good to have, um, and that's really cool. So yeah, fantastic, it's 120 millimeters. I'm just gonna go and sit down again now. So it's 120 millimeters. Um, it also has braided cabling, which I love. I think braided cabling is one of the best things in the world, just because it looks nice, it feels nice, and it also adds um, adds a certain amount of um, quality build to the product itself. And remember, I have Design Award 2013 winner. And yeah, so that's the length of the cable you've got there. As you can see, you've got a decent length. And also, because it's braided, it's going to make your case look even better as well. Um, it is a very, very pretty fan. Um, there isn't any LEDs in it, uh, which is probably the only the only downside I'd say um, to the fan is that I like I think is I like to I like to light my case up a lot though. Whereas if you've got lights already in your case and you don't really want any lights on your fans, so or if you think lights on your fans are a bit cheesy or a bit rubbish looking, then perfect fan for you, okay? It's got a fantastic build quality, it looks awesome, and it's gonna be very, very quiet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it onto my uh, to my test rig, and uh, I'll see if I can get some audio of the fan spinning around for you. Um, however, I do have other fans in the case, so I'll try, Let's just see what happens. So here we are. Um, I have plugged it in. Um, you'll be able to hear a lot of the um, the noise from the PC itself. But uh, let's get a little uh, let's get a microphone close up of of the fan. Here we go. So the microphone is right next to the fan right now. And then let's turn it over. Ah, oh, that is lovely. I will give that fan, it is lovely. Uh, isn't it pretty? It is very, very pretty. 
So there we have it. It is a very lovely fan. It looks awesome. Um, it performs extremely well, as you've just seen in that demonstration there. It is very quiet. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through some of the technical details of the fan for you. So uh, it is a 12 volt fan, um, 6 volt starting voltage, which is fantastic. Um, 22.5 dB sound levels there. Uh, what else have we got here that's very important? Um, the operating temperature under 10 degrees and plus 60 degrees, so that's all very good. Um, you also get a three year warranty with it, which is important in case anything does go wrong with it. Um, it has 104 meters cubed per hour airflow rate. So again, that is a lot better. Um, it is good. It's fantastic. It's a big airflow rateage, which is good. Um, and you also have in there, anything else in there, 125 gram weight. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all of the important bits on there that you'll need to know. All of the enthusiasts out there, he'll be looking at all of the important extra details. Um, but for all of the more simple-minded people out there, it is very, very pretty, um, it looks good, and it doesn't put a lot of sound into the case, which is good, because no one wants to sit there with a fantastic whirring rawr, noise next to them all day long, because that'll get a bit annoying and take away from the, the experience of using your computer. There we go. So, fantastic little fan there. Um, really enjoy it myself. Uh, and yeah, it looks awesome. So thank you very much for watching this review. Again, another very big thank you to AquaTuning for supplying myself with the fan. And also a big thumbs up to Phobia for winning that design award and for producing a fantastic fan. The link for uh, AquaTuning is just below in the description box for you as well. So thanks again everyone and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>